Howdy. Welcome back to the Lookout Sea Scout podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Chris Tavetta. I am the CST 7 and 8 National Youth Territory Support Lead. Join with me is Lolo Marshall. Lolo. Hello, I am the National CST for Territories 1 and 2. And today we have here, uh, today we have Nick Winthrow, who is a 2024 NVSSA course boatswain. All Welcome. right, Nick, awesome. before, be before we get started here, how you doing? How you feeling? I'm feeling fantastic right now. NVSSA is very close. I'm really excited. Wonderful. Glad to hear. So, um, you know, for all you new uh, listeners, viewers, if you haven't seen the last podcast, uh, we're going to be going through this kind of interview style, kind of asking Nick a couple of questions, just kind of getting into the feel of what NVSSA is and who Nick is as well, because that's also very important. So, start us off, Nick. Um, just some, uh, just a base question for you. Uh, where are you from, and what ship are you a part of? Give us some information. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm from Greensboro, and I'm part of two ships. Uh, my first ship is ship 4019, uh, Queen Anne's Revenge, in Old North State Council, and my second ship is ship 924, Raven Point, in Old Hickory Council. Awesome. So. Clearly, you're a part of two different ships. So what has your scouting career looked, up to, like, looked like up to this point? So I was I was a regular scout, a dirt scout, as we call them, uh, for a couple of years there. Starting in about fifth grade, I moved up and I eventually got my eagle. And while I was towards the end of my regular scouting career, I, I started learning about sea scouts. And I started looking at how cool it was and decided that I wanted to be a sea scout. And so I joined ship 4019 in Burlington, and uh, a little while after that, I joined ship 924 in Winston-Salem, and I've been having a lot of fun since then. Uh, right yeah, now, sure. uh, I'm an ABLE scout, and I'm working on my quartermaster. I'm almost there, and I, I can't wait to get it when I do. All right. We do love dual-enrolled scouts. Sea Scouts loves promoting other, uh, other units and other aspects of BSA. So... That's a bit about you. Uh, now, I do want to jump directly into NVSSA and what NVSSA is about, because I know you've been working hard. We've all been working hard in this event. So I guess this is kind of your your, your time to shine, your time to brag a bit. So a couple questions about NVSSA. Uh, NVSSA, for those who don't know, National Virtual Sea Scout Academy coming up soon. Nick, was it your idea for the National Quarter Act to be a part of this event? So... Originally, when Evan had reached out to me asking who I wanted to be on staff, uh, I kind of started just coming up with ideas of people I met at Sea Scout events. And then I remember that my sister is on the National Quarter Deck, and then Evan and I kind of hashed that idea out together, and we decided that it would be a really good idea to use the National Quarter Deck as most of the staff. Awesome. So you have a bunch of National Quarter Deck on staff as well as a few special guests. Uh, so how did you become the event bosun for NVSSA? So I was I I had I had met Evan at a couple of Sea Scouting events, a Sea Scouts get get around, and uh, he's also part of my OA section. So I had his phone number, and one day I was at summer camp and he, and he called me and he kind of asked me to do it, and I was I was very happy to say yes because this is something that I that I just heard, and I was like, man, I would love to do this. And here we are. That's great. So in terms of people that are attending uh, your event that you've worked so hard on, uh, can you are, do you have any like tips you can give to those people, like what they should expect maybe? Yeah, so uh, definitely expect to to go in and, and join your meeting at the start, and there'll be a uh, there'll be a schedule up for you there uh, where you can see everything that's happening in each of the tracks for that day. Um, some tips I'd give would to be, number one, explore as many of those tracks as you'd like because all of them have something new to learn. And if they don't have something new to learn, go to a different track. Uh, uh, another tip that I give is show up to your meeting a little bit early. Um, to just being on time is generally a good thing. Uh, and then... Maybe the last thing I'd say would be participating when you can, raising your hand, asking questions. Awesome. So we're bringing back NVSSA. So um, have you been to an NVSSA before 2024? If so, what when was it? 
I have. I went in 2021 and I thought it was a great experience. Uh, we, uh, it, it, it's going to be pretty similar to how this NBSSA is, except this one's going to be better. All right. I personally know I'm very excited. Um, for those who don't know, Lolo and myself are both involved in presenting that content at NBSSA. So I'm as excited. Well, maybe Nick's more excited than I am, but I'd say I'm pretty excited as well. So uh, out of curiosity, Nick, do you know off the top of your head how many people are going to be attending your event? So I don't know the exact number off the top of my head, but I do recall that it was that it was a, a good bit over 200, um, which is really exciting to have, especially at a time like this for a virtual event after COVID is, is fantastic to have that many people at NBSSA. Awesome. So um, talking about the like program of NBSSA, what planning goes into creating this event, like including the quarter deck and everything like that? So uh, there, there's some, there's some planning between uh, Evan, myself and Levi, uh, and we kind of coordinate and and talk about general plans and then we bring those plans down to our track bosuns and those track bosuns help us discuss some more things and decide some more things and eventually those plans are brought out to the rest of the staff and told to everybody and and anybody who wants to give in we have little brainstorming sessions during our meetings too so anybody on the staff can really put things into the plan if they'd like to Gotcha. I really enjoy how that structure kind of relates to some other uh, big national programs that we have here in BSA, like maybe, for example, NYLT. Uh, th that structure yeah. really helps us develop as a team and really get all that content down the way we want it to be done. Uh, do you have anything specific about planning that you really enjoyed uh, in terms of NVSSA? I loved getting to meet all of the staff and all of the quarter deck. It was, it was a really good experience to, to get to see everyone's faces and talk to them every week and 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 learn about them and joke with them. That was that was a really fun part of it. That's perfect. Um, so as scouts, we know you have to be prepared for anything. So what ha what challenges have you faced in creating this program of NBSSA? So sometimes there are, there are uh, there are awkward moments because we're on Zoom and uh, social cues kind of need a specific timing in order to work, and so there's just little things here and there where maybe someone will talk over someone else or someone will cut out and we won't know what they're saying. Little miscommunications here and there. Uh, but we overcome that and we we go beyond that because, because we're scouts. All right. So beyond those like minor challenges, you said you space just maybe just because it's online. Um, you've kind of had a, a perspective over the entire event as the as the lead, kind of being in the in the in the front of it. Uh, out of everything that you've been seeing and working on, what are you most looking forward to from this event? I cannot wait to teach my day. I cannot wait to go out there and 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 just just teach all the requirements that I have. I, I work at a summer camp, so so teaching the youth is something that I that I really enjoy doing. So I just can't wait to get out there and and teach what I have for day one. That's awesome. Um, I'm sure everyone is so excited for that because it's going to be great. Um, so how much time has the NBSSA staff put into creating this whole event? A whole lot of time. Uh, I want to say we started having uh, meetings twice a month in October. We've consistently had them. We've had the vast majority of the staff there every single time, everyone on top of their stuff. Um, each of the staff with their lessons, they they created those lessons. Uh, they personalized them so that they could teach them uh, to the best of their ability to all of the scouts that are going to be at NVSSA. And so they have put, it, I would have to pull out a calculator to, to kind of figure out the exact hours, but it is a momentous amount of time. All right. Nick, we appreciate your time. Before we go ahead and close off this episode, we just want to give you a couple more, maybe even a minute, uh, just kind of speak your piece. Uh, anything else you want to say to everybody out there who's listening in? Go to Able Track day one. It's going to have a really fun teacher, and he's going to be really excited to teach you. Uh, and also, go explore all of the tracks. I'm serious. It's going to be such a fun experience to get to see all the different teachers and instructors and all the different teaching styles and learn all the things that they have to give to you. It's going to be a whole lot of fun, and I can't wait to see as many of you there as possible. 
All right. Thank you so much, Nick, for joining us tonight. Once again, this is the Lookouts podcast with Chris and Lolo. New episode soon. Catch you guys later.